Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with what's sold on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Yeah. Yeah, love it when we get sales on all three platforms. Hi. Hi, how's everybody doing? Welcome, if you're new here. Yes. We're full-time resellers from Dallas, Texas. Yes, we are, and we're probably having as much trouble with eBay as you are. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Grab my pet. It's been, uh, it's been an interesting couple of weeks. Uh, you know, things are weird when Poshmark sales are rivaling or outperforming eBay sales. We cross list on all three platforms all the time. And now we're adding a plethora more platforms. Because you got to do what you got to do. eBay search still broke. broke. Okay. Anyway. We've reported it. We've done everything we're supposed to do. <laughs> we talked about it. We did an experiment. I'll talk about that later today. Mm -hmm. And there are some clear trends in what did sell for us yeah, now for sure. we sold 35 ish things which to many people seems like a lot we are both full-time it is not a lot it's not and it's for you know a whole weekend so weekends we should be in the 50 to 60 sales oh, I need my range yeah, oh what are you doing okay starting without the coffee i know <laughs> So we're going to start with Poshmark, and there are some absolute bangers in here. Yeah, Some long-tail items. Yes. If you don't know what that is, that's like normally something that's really rare, or in the clothing game, normally it's something that's really expensive, and you're yeah. waiting for the right buyer. And we've had two of those really expensive sales come through on Poshmark. Yes. So uh, like I said, there's some trends. You're going to want to watch the entire video because I'm looking right here, and I can tell you what's selling. I can tell you in our little... Uh, sample size. Yeah, I see a lot of. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's get this Poshmark going, shall we? Yes. Sir. All right. Okay. Uh, Eileen Fisher is going to start us off. Woohoo! Not fully prepared. Never. We're Never. Gonna have to do this video in two parts. I got to go to the dermatologist. Hey, everybody watching. Schedule your dermatology appointment once a year and get your skin checked out every inch of you. Do it. Go do it. This I, is your sign. If you're waiting for a sign, I'm giving it to you. It's right now. Okay? My dad had skin cancer. Y'all go. 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 Best friend. Skin cancer. Go. Okay. Uh, the first thing is this Eileen Fisher Petite Women's Size PP Pull-On Pants Organic Cotton Stretch Black. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about and then also explain to you the difference in petite sizes for what? another time. Yes. I love talking about petite sizes. All right. So in the tag, these are just pull-on pants from Eileen Fisher. There's a couple of different varieties that we sell a lot of. These are just cotton, organic cotton. So the ones that we normally sell for $50 are the washable stretch crepe ankle pant. And those are made of nylon viscose and spandex. These are not those. Uh, here's the Eileen Fisher Petite. So this is a PP and in designer brands, most of the time when it says Petite under the name of the designer, it is in fact Petite. If it does not say Petite and there is only one P, that normally means regular extra small. In a designer like Eileen Fisher or some other brands that we talk about a lot, the PP means petite, petite. And when I have to put this into Poshmark, I need to use the petite extra small. That's what it equates to. Some of the platforms like eBay have a PP as the size. I keep saying PP and I just want to giggle. But I put in it as petite extra small because the next size up in Eileen Fisher Petite is the PS, which would be the petite small. So this is the petite extra small. Got it? Got it. All right. Lovely. This sold for $22. Lovely. Love that. And I stopped doing a shipping discount on my listings. And so you're going to notice that some of the stuff did not sell with a shipping discount, which we love. I used to just list it with a discount because I thought everybody wanted a discount. Then I realized they'll just offer me less and then I'll take it. <laughs> so real. We went to Albuquerque this weekend. It was a very quick trip. Yep. 
But if you're from Albuquerque, hi. Hey. We were visiting. We went to the rodeo. <laughs> we sure did. We went to the rodeo at the New Mexico State Fair. It was my first rodeo. <laughs> and it didn't disappoint. There were two people injured, which apparently is like an exciting thing at a rodeo. I think it was primitive and scary, but hey, pick your poison, right? right. That's right. Okay. Next is a, okay, the theme of today, I'm gonna just going to give a theme right out right away. Okay. No, I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, oh, teasing the theme. This is a Chico's uh, top. Lots of new tag stuff going out the door, which is normally more of a Q4 thing for us, but okay. Chico's Travelers Women's Size 2 US 12 Large Modern Texture Tank Coral Waffle Knit New. Here's what I want to tell you about this. We did an experiment last week, and a lot of you participated in our experiment. I listed every single Chico's Travelers Size 2 that I had. Uh, I relisted them so that they all started on the same date, put some of them as promoted, some of them as free shipping, some of them as free returns to get the top rated seller. I did an experiment. Top rated plus. Top rated plus. Most of them that did sell, I listed every single Chico size two I had. Y'all, they sold on Poshmark. Excuse me. <laughs> what? Huh? What? <laughs> I did an eBay experiment and everything sold on Poshmark. So uh, we had a lot of Poshmark sales and I, I get this from people a lot. Oh, just this better stuff or blah, 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 blah. It's selling on Poshmark. It's not the stuff. Uh, I did look up Chico's today, just Chico's in general on the live and 59 items came up. Yeah, that was that was fun. That's it. And more other people were looking at Chico's, just the word Chico's. 59 items. Okay, got more than that in my own store. Hello, eBay. <laughs> uh, if you don't believe it, go check out the replay of the live. Roll the tape. So this was new, <laughs> and it sold for 20 bucks. So we're not going to get rich off this stuff, but it does move. Yeah. Here comes a banger, y'all. Yeah, Are we ready for a banger? <laughs> oh, my God. There we go. This is, we've had this listed a long time. St. John, size extra large, black sequin stud, athleisure set, activewear, dressy tracksuit, baby. Yeah, yeah. Now, there were th this sold for $100? Yeah, $99. Yeah. Uh, there are a few things about this that make it not as valuable as some of the other St. John two pieces we sell. We have had this listed approximately two years. I believe the pictures are not great, as you can see. Uh, and I actually have it on my list to relist, but now I won't. Somebody sent a hundred dollar offer and I barely say no to a hundred dollars. Like a couple times I have, but here's the thing. There were two different sizes. No, the same size, but one was made in Mexico and one was made in China. And we got some questions on this. Yeah, we did. And I had no answers. <laughs> so it's, a, it's stretchy. It's very much athleisurely. It feels kind of like a bathing suit, but it has tons of sparkles on it. I don't even know if the pictures Do capture yeah. Yeah, the sparkle. Sparkle Town, but it's got Sparkle Town on it. Uh, and I'm pretty happy selling things like this on Poshmark because the fit normally isn't the biggest issue. And if I sold this on eBay, it would definitely come back. For sure. All right. So I, it would just come back because people, I find that when we sell two piece sets, one of the pieces doesn't fit as well as the other piece, and then people send it back. This thing is awesome. It is a really awesome. And maybe you could just show them in real life the sparkle, sparkle town. Anyway, a hundred bucks. It is covered in these sparkles. And at the bottom, it's like a jogger style. So this is made, this is like I'm here to relax and party at the same time. Totally. It's like a tuxedo t-shirt. <laughs> keep talking about these, but it's true. So the dressy athleisure is one of the themes of stuff that's doing well. Ah got back-to-back -back bangers this stuff. is exciting too much stuff um yeah back-to-back -back bangers here and then we also have a bundle on mercari which i don't know that we've ever had a bundle on mercari. yeah i don't think we have first time bundle okay um i do need to let you know that we're going kind of on a little bit of an emergency trip and we're not going to be here this week so i don't I don't think there's going to be videos going up. I'm just letting you know. We'll try. We'll try. We might be able to do something tonight. I don't know. 
but we got to go move Dan's mom, and she's in Miami. So we were in Albuquerque, and then we're going to be in Miami, which is like jet setting. It's going to be great. Oh, yeah. And uh, all over the place. we're leaving in the morning. So if you just want to leave your uh, computer screens on, running our videos on a loop, that'd be great. <laughs> Is that wrong? Should have not said that. <laughs> hey, man. We do what we got to do. Uh, okay. What's happening? There we go. All right, let's go over to the right place. Or maybe you're not caught up. and You can use this time to get caught up. Oh, good job. Yeah, good, good, good suggestion. All right. Number two. Absolute banger. I bought this at an estate sale. Well, we bought it at an estate sale. Oh, I didn't tell you. For the St. John, we paid $3. Oh, no, that's cheap. Wait, where's the St. John? Nope, 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 nope. Ticket. Ticket, ticket. There was. I took both of the things out of the bag. There was, okay. there was no ticket. Yeah, then I need a ticket. That's weird because there's no ticket. All right, so at the estate sale, this is the one thing I really wanted, and it did stay until the last day, and I bought it. Yeah, we had our eyes on this thing from the beginning. Some guy was coming in trying to swoop it up. I said, uh uh, <laughs> uh uh, this one's mine. This is, let me tee it up for you here. This is the Ralph Lauren purple label, which is one of our favorite things to sell, but look at this baby. It reminded me of the Beatles, you know, Sergeant Pepper. This is a military style Ralph Lauren purple label women's size 12 large military style jacket dress set navy. And I'm like, you know, this thing is going to do great. Yeah. So that's the dress underneath. Again, if we had had the mannequin when we listed this, I yeah. think it would have sold faster. I agree with that. It's been listed about two years. We paid $13.05 for the whole set, which is a freaking steal. Here's the union tag. It is made in the USA which a lot of the purple label is made in Italy. So this was a, a unique piece. It is the Ralph Lauren collection. Sometimes this is in script and sometimes it's in a block font like this. And here's how we did the measurements. It did have a lot of attention. I fully expected this to sell on eBay. It yeah. sold for $212 on Poshmark. Come on, Poshmark. Seriously, Poshmark is crushing eBay, crushing. That's unbelievable. And I've been counter offering. I haven't been taking every single offer. Yeah, you better, you better get this thing rolled out. And I've been counter offering. It is a knit, which I probably could have listed this a little bit better. Oh, we need some hose here. And um, it's a really, really nice set. Somebody's getting an absolute steal on this. Again, not free shipping. Love that for you. <laughs> Excuse me, I meant not, uh, what do you call it? Discounted. Discounted. Discounted oh, it's so gorgeous. Uh, and I've been saying, and I'm going to keep saying it, list your office wear, particularly any office wear that's like classic in nature. Like this is a classic knit shift dress. It doesn't have a waist seam. Like what I'm wearing right now has a waist. This is a shift dress. Uh, what I'm wearing is an empire waist, if you're wondering. And this is just a big rectangle. It's stretchy and nice, and the fabric is, feels lovely. Uh, I'm not sure how long this will last. That's why I'm kind of being urgent about it. If you have career wear, I'm not talking about basics like black dress pants, although those are selling too. I'm talking about things that statement career wear, right? Because of the show suits. You got it listed. Nice, nice, nice. We keep checking my phone for time. Yeah. Anything Ralph Lauren that looks a little bit regal or kind of like military style or preppy. Sometimes they have big embroidered. I mean, I know we know about the bears, but also like other like crests. Always look twice at those things because they can go for really, really great money. Yeah, it just picks up everything, doesn't it? It does. The buttons on this are incredible. We really should have done a better job at listing this. <laughs> you can tell we listed it two years ago because yeah. we didn't. We weren't as good at the detail photos as we are now. Oh, I want that to come off. Let me get in there. Oh, it's oh. in there. Where's my tweezers? Oh, I'll get the tweezers. Don't think I won't. I got it. I got it. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow up. <laughs> there we go. 
the buttons are branded with like little crowns on them. So that's how, anytime your buttons have embellishments or adornments on them, look it up because that those buttons cost a lot of money. And so a lot of times you can tell quality, girl, you got, you got you're just trying to good. cover it up. You try to cover it's it up. Not... It's good. See, it goes. You're talking about movie, it picks up. I know. That's an indication of quality. Uh, because those ca- cost money, and sometimes you don't get the return on an investment in something like that. So if you're going to pay extra money for buttons like that, in this case, Ralph Lauren did, you know that garment's probably worth something. All right. So that's sold for two twelve, and then some brand new uh, new tags Chico's sold. I would love to show you that. So like I said, a lot of new attack stuff is selling. I did take a lower offer on these, but it's okay. Um, Chico is size 1.5, US 10. The ultimate fit ankle pant, purple satin waist, Manhattan new. So if you if you know the name of the Chico pant, definitely put it in there. These sold for $17. Not great, but this is the start of the trend that I wanted to talk about today. Well, new attacks is, is trending for us, <laughs> but uh, purple. I can't even count how many purple things we sold. This color purple. Uh, I think that's probably one of the biggest benefits of watching these videos every single day is that you can notice trends very easily. Um, we paid, it says we paid six fifty nine for these, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, but what I also wanted to talk about besides this color of purple selling is the numbers that are selling for us. So here's the new Attags pants. Here's the satin waist. That's a nice detailed photo there. Here's the new Attags. They did sell for $89 new. Wow. She goes to expensive. Um, but look at the number here, 6756. You're gonna notice that a lot of our 600s and 700s sold. And that's a really old number for us. I'm gonna switch back over to here. It's a really old number and what I think is happening and what I know is happening is that the new listings are getting paramount placement on eBay, new listings. Uh, and you're like, yeah, always new. Not just that though. When eBay relists, those are getting top placement. So we listed a bunch of things in the 600s and I listed them all in the same day and then they all we call it renew at the same time mm -hmm. and those renewed listings are getting more traction than they ever have before and this is like the third or fourth week that this has happened to us i can prove it so i don't think i've never been part of the end and sell similar crowd which are people that think like refreshing your listings sometimes i redo my listings because they're terrible <laughs> but the whole refresh of listings has never been on my radar and other people have had huge success with it I don't think that needs to happen anymore. Something has changed that when eBay relists it automatically, it's yeah. getting top placement because we're selling big chunks of things. I'll show you when we do the analytics. We're showing big chunks of older things all in in little numbered sequences. Yeah. And since we have a numbered inventory, we're able to easily see, oh, and I can go into eBay and say, oh, those listings were only a day or two old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is good because I don't have to mess with them, exactly. right? That's that's a good one. Well, mm -mm. trying, to, trying to pull out any kind of good things for real. OK, next we have uh, let me just get this going here. BDG. These jeans were doing great for us for a hot minute. These are Urban Outfitters. I did buy these at the thrift for 317 and they are the BDG Urban Outfitters women's size 29 skater baggy wide leg jeans distressed cotton. I have not been buying anything at the thrift skinny jeans related. I know some people still sell them, but we don't really sell that many jeans. I've just been buying like baggy stuff that I see my stylist people recommending baggy straight leg flare leg stuff like that. And BDG does great for us. And I think that $32 is great. We sold these for 32. That's, Excellent. that's a great price for jeans in my opinion. So I would look out for skater styles. These are new. These are not like vintage, even vintage skater styles is great too. But just letting you know. I thrifted these probably a month ago. So they weren't listed that long at all.
<clears throat> and they said the name inside of them, if you were wondering. I believe they say that in the tag or the waistband Ooh. or something. Or they have a style. I don't know. Hold on. I'm trying to get there. I think they had a style number on them or something. Very happy these sold on Poshmark because the shipping would have been pretty expensive. Unless we could get them in a flat rate. They're heavy. Yeah. All right. Next. Okay. Uh, I have told you guys in the past that we are our number one category ever of all time and how we're rated as sellers on all platforms as pants, uh, which is why we are so upset at the eBay searches defaulting to tops. Yeah. We have sold so many pants this weekend. I, I don't know why we sell so many pants. Pants we are back. We don't particularly <laughs> love selling pants. We just happen to sell a lot of them. Yeah. So the next is Chico's women's size three. US 16, extra large, so slimming, black, jeans, crop, 100% cotton. These hey, were $1. $1, Rob. These are pants. Vins Chico's pants. And they're cropped, which a lot of people are like, don't buy cropped. Well, we do if it's at the Vins. And these sold for $20, which is exactly where we expect them to sell. See, you can tell by the number here, 10045 is the inventory number. And we're right now at 11... 90 11,090 so this was listed like 100 things ago approximately yeah 50 things ago and uh a thousand things ago. huh a thousand things ago oh a thousand things ago <laughs> but that's still not that i mean that is, yeah it's not that long in terms of time i think it was less than a month yeah. we were flying through listings that you wouldn't believe yeah a thousand things Okay, so this will for 20, which is great. If I could sell Chico pants for $20 all day, every day, and get the volume that we needed, it would be fine because we list pants super fast. Y'all, yeah. I swear to God, we list other things other than Chico's. I swear we do. Yeah, here's one coming up. No, it's Chico's again. Wait, what? Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Um, I had to cancel a. Oh, Chico's order. That's why I was confused. Oh, right. Yeah, that's this label. Got it. We had to cancel one because we listed something that was Chico's and it sold so fast that Venduke didn't auto delist it by the time someone else bought it. I mean, I listed it and it was like sold twice. Yeah. So you're going to see what it is because I sold it on eBay and I had to honor that sale first. But dang, I'm going to tell you. It's purple. <laughs> All right, next is a two-piece set that I've been dying to keep. I'm glad it's finally sold because I keep wanting to keep it. <laughs> it is Adidas Originals. It's real cute. Yeah, it is. I don't know why. It just... Oh, it's so cute. I still want to keep it. I'm not going to keep it. This is Adidas Originals Women's Size Extra Small Crop Shirt and Sort Set. Short and sh Shirt and Sort. I can't say that. Shirt and Short Set. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Thank sure. you very much. And... uh. You have a ticket for this one. It's we paid nine dollars and forty cents for this. I do remember paying up because I was going to keep it. I think I may have tried it on. It didn't work out. Yeah. Um, and it sold for thirty eight, which I'm happy with. Yeah. This thing is super old too. Inventory number three eight five seven. Okay, so the number thing we were telling you about doesn't really apply to Poshmark. That stuff's all about sharing again in front of people. But the eBay. Okay, next. We have another pair of pants. I have to get a new bag for this, but yeah. These are Talbots Heritage Women Plus Size 18W Pants Khaki Stretch Straight Leg. And the photos of our pants don't look that great. I know what you're thinking. But we do the best we can, and I think people that are buying these pants from Chico's, Talbot's, J. Jill, etc., know the fit, and they know they can kind of visualize. We don't use stock photos for these brands, primarily. I mean, that's not a great photo. It's like dark at the bottom. They're not as perfect, right? But we're kind of going through pants fast because we normally sell them for twenty dollars, and these sold for twenty one. So you gotta, you know, we spend more time on the things that get us more money. And I think that's a pretty good uh, rule of thumb. Yeah. We paid 349 for these. 
I'll always pick up a plus size basic. Uh, I'm always looking for petites, talls, and plus sizes. That's part of our business model. And you can do what you need to do for your business. But for us, uh, we that kind of service, you know, providing a service is uh, really important to people that have different sizes than the standards. Yep. <clears throat> and usually you got to go online. They have to go online to buy those sizes anyway. Yep. So. Buy them from us instead for cheaper. Yeah. I also hear so many YouTubers saying they don't pick up specialty sizes and it's sad because when I go shop for myself on eBay, I can't find anything. And so I want to be the person where they can actually find something. But we have enough time that we can sit and wait because this buyer that you're looking for is maybe not as prevalent. And that is a that is fact. Yeah. Okay, the next thing that sold is pants. <laughs> <laughs> These are J Jill women's size extra large pants. Come on, pants. Pull on Ponty Knit Stretch Trousers Career. These J Jill pants sold for you guessed it, twenty dollars. And here you go, just black pants on a hanger. Uh, the J-Jill is great because it always, there's a helicopter. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, they tell you the exact what it is in the tag right here. See, J-Jill, Ponty, Slim Leg. So if somebody wants another pair, they just go and they look. And they buy another pair. What's going on here? Is that Desi? Where? In the crotch region. Maybe. Maybe a little dusty. <laughs> And that's what those look like. So whenever there's dust on any of the clothes or deodorant marks or anything like that, we use a pair of tights, call them office hose, and it gets off anything that's kind of like on the surface that might be a little dusty. Uh, a ponty knit is a four-way stretch. It's really thick and heavy, and a true ponty knit will weigh over a pound almost always. And that's how you can know if you have black pants. Uh, they stretch it this way. They stretch this way, they stretch this way, and this way. Whoa. That's what four-way stretch means. And they're thick and have a, a really good shape to them. So a lot of people like wear a ponty to work because it feels kind of like a yoga pant. You know what I mean? But yep. it's like a little more structured and dressy. And it hides a lot of flaws because it's such a thick fabric. So a lot of us like to wear, to wear those today. Okay, this is an anomaly. Like, this shouldn't have happened, but it happens. What do you mean? Sometimes a brand does really well, and then a certain style, it won't. Okay. So this is Kate Spade. And, y'all, I sold this for $12, and the pictures are great. I think that I just took this offer because I've had it for a long time, and I was a little bit concerned about these bright orange photos down here of the close-ups. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's Kate Spade Saturday, which is a different line of Kate Spade. It's like Michael Michael Kors, similar to that. And it's a boucle, or uh, it's a boiled wool, I think. What did I say? Burnt orange, zip back, shipped mini dress wool blend. It has some texture to it. I told you these office things are going. I think if I had a better color on these, I mean, because you can see in, in the pictures here, the, the color is not quite accurate. I'm going to show you. Wait, let's show. Oh, you're right. The color's not quite accurate. So I was excited to get any offer on this. This has been listed a while. As you saw, it was in the 6,000s. So I did sell it for $12. It's worth more than that. But was it worth my time to re-photograph it? Was it worth that much more? No, not even, not even close. It's probably worth about $30. And so it just wasn't worth it. What is that? Yeah, what is that? Dog hair, that's what that is. Uh, I think we got this for free from my friend. It's pretty much gone, huh? Yeah. Way better than it was. And this color. I'm wearing it right now in, the, in my dress. This color is going to be a banger. Uh, I've been seeing it everywhere. I just went on a trip, so I was looking at what everybody was wearing, and this burnt orange color is popping off right now. I just ordered a pair of pants myself or Poshmark that are this color. 
Uh, I think it's going to be a hit. Heard it here first. That's all I'm saying. I was just people watching. I'm a professional people watcher. Man, there was good people watching at the rodeo. Mm hmm. When you're like, who would wear that? The people at the rodeo. That's who. But everyone was looking like, I don't know about Albuquerque because I've never been there, but this must have been like a really big thing because everyone was dressed in their most, not fancy clothes, in their most like trendy clothes. They were making statements, okay? I, These clothes were statement. Yes. And we were like, wow. Okay. Okay. Not the choice I would have made, but okay. I loved it. I was, I was in, I was here for it. I was like, sign me up. I was screaming. They had like the, the queen, they have a queen at a rodeo, mm -hmm. at a state fair rodeo that is. I was like, yes, queen. <laughs> I was trying to get into it. I don't even know what the queen does, but I was excited for her. Okay. The last thing to sell on Poshmark is Chico's and it's purple. Of course it is. I know. It's like, this sold super fast. It sold the first day that I listed it. And it is in the 11,000s. And it is a Chico's women's size 3, US 16, extra large, open cardigan, sweater, roll tab sleeve, knit purple. Purple, for some reason. It, you're just fighting um, it. Just <laughs> Purple's doing great for us. In tops and pants. I can, I know. You're like, you have purple pants? We do. You don't? <laughs> These longer cardigans. This is not quite what the... Okay. The formal term for duster is something that you, you wear riding a horse, right? But the modern way that we use the word duster is like a really long cardigan. And I... You're wearing one right wearing now. I'm wearing a duster. How do I show them? Should mm. I stand on this thing? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Just jump up, up off the counter. No, I can't. Oh, no, that's really okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay. okay. All right. I'm like gymnasting. See? Come. This is like all the way down. Right. That's a duster length. I mean, technically. But you could maybe get away with it if you're trying to get some keywords in there. If it's an extra long cardigan. I'm not trying to. Don't keyword spam it. If it's not, it's not. But this one's pretty long. Yeah, we, 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 you're right. We just listed this thing. Yeah. It's so real fast. Okay. So this Chico sold for $31. We're getting more for the purple stuff. The newly listed purple stuff. Yeah. So I might want to go through all of our racks. <laughs> Do we have anything else that's purple? I, I I know that when um, Taylor Swift's Midnight's album came out, Lavender was doing really well for us for Lavender Haze, and I think people were wearing it to the concert. But I don't know where the purple is coming from. If you know, let us know. Please. All I know is what we sell. And so if you've got this color purple, like it's like a really standard purple. That's a good way to put it. It's not like plum. It's just purple. Or royal. Is there royal purple? But it feels yes. like royal purple. Oh, like that kind of like royalty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought you meant like royal blue. Um. Okay. Here's the Mercari bundle. Mercari bundle. Christy, I, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> how how much did they? Oh, it's smart post. So we smart can go up to post three pounds. Up to. Smart post is up to three pounds. Well, there you go. Well, I hope we're gonna make that because we got some. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. I don't think we're going to make that. Okay. So, Mercari Bundles hasn't quite figured it out. And then when we reach out to them, they're always like, just ship yeah, it. Yeah, just ship like, it. There you go. All right, fine. You told us to do it. Um, I hope they take it. Yep. There's absolutely nothing we can do about this. Mercari gives the label. Right. It, the AI or something thinks it knows how much it weighs, and obviously it's more. Okay. Yeah. The first thing, I'm just gonna show you all at once. Oh, it went to this though. Yeah, it's just got the four individual pictures. You see what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah. All right, here we go. You ready for it? 
First one is this gorgeous chevron jacket from Chico's. Uh, it is a Chico's collection, women's size 2, US 12, large chevron jacket, travelers, navy gold, new. This thing is an actual banger. And then this one is the shrug cardigan from Chico's, sweater, rib knit, three-quarter sleeve. And then we have the J. Jill size large open front cardigan sweater, navy blue rayon knit, which we also just listed. Like soup, like within 24 hours this sold. And then this one is the... Chico's black t-shirt, poly stretch, round neck, three-quarter sleeve. And we received an offer for $125 for those four things. And I said, yes, ma'am. That is great. Excuse me. And the fees on Macari are just so much less. I wish we could do more bundles on Macari if people... Whenever I'm shopping on Macari, I always look at their store. I'm like, is there anything else in my size? You know? <laughs> because the fees are just... In the with the smart post, it takes a while to get there. I'll, I'll be honest with that, but the fees are just so much less. Hmm. We need our, our own box. Yeah, obviously, I'm gonna just try to put it in the like an Amazon poly, a larger poly, but I can put it in a box if you want. It's already overweight. What are we gonna do? <laughs> we don't know. I don't know what to do. Every time we call Macari when this happens, they just like just ship it. We'll take care of it. Yeah, okay. Doesn't happen often. I think this is the second time it's happened. Move on to eBay. Let's see if we have time. Yeah, we'll be all right. We don't have that much on eBay. We have 21 things. One of them is a bundle. Three things. So we'll just go as long as we can and then we will leave when we have to. Yep. We're trading all the things. A little time consuming, but we have to. Sometimes they need to be lint rolled or whatever. That's what happens now that we have employees. We have to be really careful because, well, we mess up too. But we got to be really careful and look things over better than we used to. In there. This makes me so happy to share with you in a minute. Oh, that's awesome. There's a piece of clothing going back home. I love that. Oh, dear. Like box and that stuff. It'd be great if we could get this all done, you know. What, before we go? Yeah, because yeah. then you can just go to the post office. That would be nice. All right, the first thing to sell on eBay just sold, and we've had it listed a long time, so I let it go over cheaper than I would like to, but here we are. <laughs> this is a J, J, J. Crew women's size 10 gold metallic striped party dress, fit and flare, new tags. I did counter offer on this. They came in at 12, and then I countered at 20, and they came to 15, so I took it. 
It is J. Crew Factory, which doesn't seem to make much of a difference for us, but some people say it does. We have very. We have. You have to go to the tape drawer. It's like the drawer. <laughs> Did you open it? It's like Jay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, $15, this would have looked better on a dress form for sure, but it's out of our house and it's a holiday piece, so hopefully somebody gets some really good use out of it. Stoked about that. How much did they pay? So we gotta start looking at this kind of stuff. That's cool. Yeah. It's really pretty. The photos just didn't do it justice. It would have looked way better on a dress form. Somebody knew what they were buying. I love that. Love that for them. It's fully lined. It's really nice. And it's new. It is new. All right, the next thing that sold is pair of pants. And these are from the brand called Chico's. <laughs> Chico's Traveler's Women's Size 2 Short US 12 a Large Black Ponty Stretch Pull on Slinky. This is part of our experiment. These did hold on. I checked. I'm going to keep giving you updates about this, but I did check. And uh, these sold for $24. I'm going to get in here and tell you about it. I checked all the things all weekend to see where the stuff was ranking. I was trying to see what, which held on to the top spots. And I know you won't be surprised, but many of our pants, like eight pairs, were still on the first page as of this morning. So uh, these were part of the experiment, and they sold for free shipping. So somebody came in at $20 and girl, I can't do that with free shipping, right? Cause these are over a pound, I believe, or they're right out of pound. We better weigh them before you put them in that poly. Yeah, they'll be fine. So they're right out of pound and um, it's free shipping so we can decide how it goes. So we just need to see what the cheapest Ground advantage probably, right? Yeah, but it's going to New Jersey, so it's still 644. It's 644. So anyway, they came in at 20, which I normally probably would have accepted. I'm not sure. Uh, and then I counted at 24 and they took it. So I was really happy to get that $4 back because now it's 244 out of our pocket. Free shipping is not our favorite thing to do. Okay, we just are doing it for the experiment and then we're taking it away. Yeah. I just wanted you to know that that part, of, one thing from the experiment sold actually on eBay. <laughs> All right, next is. This one wants to default to prior room, so please remind me to change it to ground. I made a note. Okay. Uh, I always buy chartreuse things. We, we are very uh, limited in our brands that we pick up from Anthropology anymore, but this one was an exception. Anthropology Mave size six. Is it Alita? Satin cow neck chartreuse crop blouse. I had to get this. I can't believe I didn't keep it. It probably was too big. I love the color chartreuse. I think this color is pretty accurate here. It's a yellow with a green undertone. And it just depends on your monitor, y'all. It's not easy. But the mannequin really helps show the shape of this and how it ties in the back. It's cow That's a cowl neck right there. It kind of like hangs down, if you didn't know what that meant. And this is a newer anthropology piece. Not the newest, but a newer. And I knew it was going to sell. It sold for $19. I think we pay like a buck for it or something. I'll check in just a second. Or maybe it was part of a haul. I don't know. But I was not leaving it there. It says $349, but yeah, I could be right. Probably a haul thing. Anyway, I was like, it's chartreuse. Some people love it. Uh, okay. Next is Escada. I tried very hard to get the stains out of this. And I probably tried too hard, but I pressed it. <laughs> this is Escada Women's Size 36, US small, button front top, gold stars, embroidery, blouse, vintage. Uh, I love this shirt. Look how cute. 
These stars are everything. Look, oh my <laughs> goodness. Scott has been doing relatively well for <clears throat> us, particularly the vintage stuff. I remember from the Yeah. Here's the tags. The Scotta. It so anyway, this sold for twenty five bucks. Happy to see it go to a new home. Okay. I need a ticket for this. Ticket. Next, we sold another Starbucks uh, BLM shirt. I think you guys have seen this many times. We got a whole slew of these at the bins. And they're all triple extra large Starbucks size 3X extra extra large employee Black Lives Matter BLM shirt stand together new. I got I got them all and they have been selling. This is the graphic is so cool. I just love this shirt so much. And um, it does say stand together on the front. And yeah, anytime there's something new like that at the bins and there's a bunch of them, I always kind of like take a chance on it for the most part because it's only one listing and you can keep selling it i think we had like 30 of these yeah we still and, have a pretty decent amount of them yeah but they're coming down i mean we're, we're selling them so that's great okay next i have some things to talk about style terms this is the chico's Size one US eight Kara top, white bubble hem, and this is what a bubble hem looks like. It has elastic at the bottom, and it makes a really blousey fit. This would have looked great on a mannequin, but it's just a t-shirt, so you didn't see that. That part can go under and give you a nice blouse effect, and it can also go on your waistband if you're wearing like high-waisted jeans this is really popular in y2k this whole bubble hem situation if you want to eat a lot at thanksgiving this <laughs> is the shirt for you <laughs> it is new with tags and that one sold for 20 dollars. again a lot of new attack stuff is going out of our house right now i personally do not find new attack she goes to sell for significantly more than pre-owned yeah i just don't see it so I would not pay up for new attacks, Chico's. That's just my advice. I, I don't even want to pay more than a dollar for Chico's, to be honest. It doesn't always work out that way. Nope. It would be nice if it did. Right? For less than a dollar? Oh. I wish. Dream. I know. <laughs> okay, the next thing is Chico's again. This was part of the experiment. I am really glad that some things from the experiment are selling. Which part of the experiment did this one fall under? Um, I'm not sure. Did they pay shipping? It was not free shipping. Yes, they did. They paid shipping. Does it say free returns or anything? Mm, uh, not on the screen. No. Let me check. I will show you guys what it is while I check. Okay, this is Chico's, size 2P, US 12P, embellished T, beautiful paisley beaded boho stretch, new with tags, y'all. Yeah, yeah. This sold for $21.86. See, not that much more than I'm pre-owned. I know. Checking on my eBay app. I didn't think about this part. There's no way to know. Yeah, if it was free returns or not. Yeah. yeah. Can you click on see original listing? Oh. Where would it say it? Mm, I'm not sure. This one might have been Uber promoted. I'm just not sure. I'll have to look at it in the bookkeeping. Yeah. But anyway, it's sold, so that's good. 
Okay, somebody in the live today mentioned that Ted Baker was selling for them, and it's selling for us as well. Ted Baker, men's size three, medium quarter zip pullover sweater, black knit jumper, and it sold for $25, Come which on, is Teddy a, B. the most that we could have got for Ted Baker. I did use a stock photo here. How did I not try this on? I think you did. It was just, something. Yeah, something. yeah. So, Ted Baker. It's not the newest Ted Baker piece anyway, and it's in the 6,000, so it's been listed quite a while. So I took a $25 offer on it and happy to see it go to a new home just in time. I don't know. There's some kind of Ted Baker trend going on. I just, again, wouldn't pay up for Ted Baker pretty much ever right now. It's just not returning that much money. All right, the next is a tiny flaw. And if you're new to our channel, you might not know that we do this. We do listings and we put tiny flaw in the end if they are in fact flawed. And a lot of times they sell really fast. This one did not sell really fast, but I did try way too long to get an ink stain out of it. And finally, I just gave up, but the brand was fantastic. So I decided to list it anyway. This is Double D Ranch. You good? I'm just checking the time. Just right down there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Double D Ranch, size medium, black, multicolor, striped, linen blend, maxi skirt, tiny flaw. And I'll show you the flaw. Double, it's right there. There's the flaw. <laughs> there it is. But it's at the bottom of the skirt. Oh, and there's another one. Um, it's not, when you're wearing it, it's really not that noticeable. If it was like horrible, I wouldn't have listed it. I love that you can't see Double D Ranch at all right there. Hello. <laughs> does it say it? Oh yeah, it does. Anyway, we got a, We went to an estate sale and bought a ton of W Ranch, and it did really, really well for us. Hundred yep. percent. Like, pick this brand up, look it up. It's really good. Anyway, this sold for twenty dollars, which I'm happy. It's not going to the landfill. that noise? Is it a bag or something? Like a door opening or something. Um, okay, so this is what I'm talking about. So the, um, now <clears throat> this is what you have to imagine. We have a lot of things that have sold. Okay, so when I give you these numbers and they seem far apart, you're going to be like, they're far apart. No, they're not, because a lot of things have sold. And I relist, okay? And I don't do the sell similar thing, but I do relist things that need updating because we're much better at titles and pictures now. So we sold 6516, 6436, okay? That's like right there. And then the, the Double D Ranch was 6031, and this is 5211. Between our 500s and 600s, there's nothing. Like, the, the 500 and 600 box, it might be in one box. I kept pulling the same box because we've sold through that stuff, right? It's very interesting to me. And I would have relisted those things in chunks. Right, as because they're getting older together. Oh, cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a Sundance. Uh, oh, you didn't write here. What, what, what were we doing here? Mm -hmm. You didn't do your job. Oh, sorry. Flattery and envelope? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. This is Sundance. This has been sitting around forever. I think the pictures aren't great, so I was happy to see it go. Oh, no, the pictures are okay. Sundance catalog jacket, size four, tan khaki, 100% cotton utility safari blazer women. This only sold for $10.91. It got really low. I don't know why the price is so low. Normally Sundance we do pretty well with. It's not a top selling brand for us, but maybe I relisted it and it just kept, I kept dropping the price and dropping the price. Um, so $10.91, off it goes. I don't know what else to say about that. Normally, safari jackets do really well for us as well.
All right. The next thing is a Xenia sport coat. It's the Trofeo. And I took a low offer. We did have $1.99 into this. Maybe I paid up for that Sundance. That Sundance, we had $3. Um, this is the Xenia Trofeo sport coat. And it's been striped. So somebody sent an offer. I did relist this recently. I know that for sure. And it's over $27. It's really hard to sell an orphan suit jacket like this. There are pants that go with this, and we do not have said pants. So $27, I think, is more than fair. Yeah, for sure. And I'm happy that it's sold. We do not pick these up anymore, like at all, no matter what. Pretty much a blanket statement. If it's a chitin, we might. Yeah. Right? For, yeah. <laughs> But still, it would be a tough decision. All right, next. Is a Chico's jacket. It's a full zip and it has the leaf print on it. And three-quarter sleeve. It's really nice. It's a summer piece for sure, so I'm glad that this is going to a new home now. It's yeah, like a killer deal. It's a great jacket. <laughs> I know, but like, there's no pants. Right. Um, this Chico's that I just showed you, we have $349 into it, and it sold for $30.36, and I love that. There's also a, a lot of the 900s here. We're selling as well. I don't know, guys. I don't know the answer here. Other than what I'm speculating, that your relists are getting more attention. Like trying to move that stuff. And I think that's a great thing. And TFP. Come on. There we go. I think this looks great. We're just going to go for that. Because okay. I remember listing that one just now. All right, what are we working with here? Two uh, pounds, one ounce. Uh, 11, 313. We'll have to look at that. That might need to go in a poly miller. Um, and then we'll do the Chico shag, and then we'll have to take off. All right. But we will be back to finish this job. Yes. Don't you worry. Okay. 30-36 for some Chico's. That's good. Yeah, it is. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? I did not know that. Well, what, no. well, how much did they pay? Three ninety nine, New Jersey. I think you need to put that in a flat rate. We'll see what it says. No, I mean, I know I'm going to have to because ground advantage is nine bucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's unfortunate. So, April must not have rounded up enough at all. <laughs> a little bit. It was over a pound. You gotta be careful with shipping because we would have gotten kicked back or charged on the back end. It would not have been good. Yeah. So here we are. Mm. It wouldn't have gotten kicked back because it's ground of image. What's wrong? Toward the envelope. Yeah. Ground of image. It would have gone through. We just would have paid a lot and not noticed it. Yep. Well, we would have noticed it in the bookkeeper. Yeah, I would like, what? dollars What? Nine dollars for shipping. Really? I'm just not wanting to cooperate with me right now. Come on, friend. I still yeah. got this on it. That's fine. Oh. Who should the assist? Yeah, All righty. Guys, we'll be right back. Hang out.
What's next? Where are we at? Right here? The purple. The Another purple. purple sweater. This is the one that double sold in five minutes or whatever. People yep. are looking for purple sweaters, purple pants, purple... Everything. Dinosaurs. I don't know. Anyway, we spent two nineteen on this. I need. I left it open because I need. Yeah, I need you to unroll this one. Understood. I had. A, I washed it, and then you know, once I wash it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is a Chico's women's size three U.S. sixteen extra large cardigan. Whoa! I have not been drinking cardigan shell sweater set two piece purple knit cowl. Again, another cowl knit neck knit. Jeez Louise. <laughs> We're flustered. All right. It was fine. Oh, que pasó? It's in the folds of the cowl. Oh, I think I knew about that. Okay. Ooh, I don't think I put it there. What I put? No. I think we'll have to make, we'll have to send a message. Okay. Because I think she told, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of another thing. We do so many garments. No, I remember her saying something about it. Right, but she, there's no picture of it with a. Yeah. There's okay. is no. that a picture of it? No, that's just a detail of the pleading. But if there's no circle photo, how am I supposed to remember? Right. I can't. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, we'll just send the buyer a message and be like, "There's a little," and that's what we do. They didn't see any of that. They really didn't see any of that. <sighs> Fluster zone. <laughs> All right. There it is. And um, the whole thing, fully, is underneath one of the folds. Like, you would never see it right. when you're wearing it. Uh, this is made of rayon, and rayon can be a knit or a woven. And it feels just like a little sweater. It's very nice. It's really soft. And it sold for $34.95. Lovely. Love that for you. Oh. <laughs> oh. This a, oh. That broke. Aggressive. God, we're having issues. <laughs> I'm eating one of my own hairs. Fun problems. I am hungry, but not that hungry. <laughs> not that, right. <laughs> I'm just sad. I'm just lying on a bar. Um. Y'all, okay, out of the 21 parcels that we're sending out on eBay today, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of them are Chico's. Wow. Half. Over half. More than half. So when people say, why are you selling Chico's in a saturated market? To them, I say, well, that's 11 things I wouldn't have sold today. It sells. Just because it's saturated doesn't mean you it's can't rise to the top. That's what I'm right. trying to figure out, how to get to the first page so that I'm not buried in the saturation. And I think as resellers, we need to understand the difference. And you make if, a very good point. Thank you. And if someone comes after you, and they come after us quite a bit, <laughs> uh, about selling in a saturated category, even women's clothing in general is a saturated category, just be the best at it. There's buyers. As long as things are moving, I'm, I'll jump in. I'm game. Yep. It's when you start selling things that no one wants to buy. That's the problem. And if, if you've heard it in that way, in a mean way, I'm sorry. But in a very constructive way, you want to make sure people want to buy what you're selling. Now, whether it gets buried or not is eBay's prerogative and your prerogative making the best listings that you can and using the tools that they give you. I think we're doing that. We sold 11 pieces of Chico's when there's 270,000 pieces available. We sold Maybe 11 of them. More. We don't really know. 59 this morning. So, <laughs> I mean, 11 out of 59 is pretty incredible, if you know what I mean. For sure. I'm being facetious. But I think there is a way to make it work. And I think a lot of your resellers are making it work. Just because it's saturated doesn't mean you can't use it to pay your mortgage. Right. All right. All right. No, we're not, I swear, we're not Chico's loyal. It's just what we can find. I wish I could find stuff that was not Chico's. Trust me. Trust. Though I'm not going to take the hand force or whatever. <laughs> How do you think? Huh? Bite the hand 
kick the hand. Bite. Bite. Bite I'm not doing any of that. Yeah. <laughs> no hands will be bitten here. <laughs> Alrighty. Kick the horse. You kick a horse. You what? bite a hand. Okay, I got it. I got what it. horse are you talking about? You know that saying that's like, "Don't kick a horse." No, it's don't. Look, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and be, beating a dead horse. There's there's two horse things there. <laughs> horse girl, coated. <laughs> All right. The next, we knew this was going to sell. It sold so fast. Yes, we did. And we did a haul and we showed you this. This is the Chico's Women's Size 4 US 22 Extra Extra Large Wrap Style Blouse Paisley Flowy Wizard Sleeve Baby. I'm we, not going to take this thing out because I literally just have this thing in my hands. We just showed you this in our thrift haul that we did last week. And then we listed it and it sold the same day. Look at this thing. Look how beautiful. And it is in the elusive size four from Chico's, yeah, man. which we love. A wizard sleeve looks very, this is not 100% wizard sleeve. Sometimes they're more dramatic, but this is a wizard sleeve. It kind of looks like a graduation cape gown sleeve situation. And when oh, you, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> when you raise your arm, it, it's got a little volume there. And I just love this piece. Paisley's doing great for us. Chico size four because it is more rare tends to do better as well. Mm -hmm. Love everything about it. If I could just sell all of these shirts all the time, I'd be a happy camper. Okay, so the next is a Chico's. I know you're completely shocked. Uh, when they stop selling, I'll stop buying them. Stop listing them. This is just a tank top, y'all, friends. Leave tags, microfiber tank. Again, new tags. Chico's women's size three, US 16, extra large, teal, microfiber tank, stretch, wide strap, brand new. I definitely listed this on Friday. And this is getting to the end of our sold. So this probably sold the same day that I listed it. And it sold for, um, let me just tell you right here, $24.95, baby. And the, the one before that sold for $32. I'm not sure that I said. So I these tanks with the tags can do well because they're basics, right? But you can't charge too much because the tag, it was only $39.95 from Jacob. I was talking about it while I was listening to it during the live. I was like, hmm, hmm, mm -hmm. What, what can I actually get away with here? And $24.95 it was. Right. Same day as listed. So that's really good. Fun times. Yes. Next. Lululemon. Um, this is the we sold this before. This is the second time we've sold this. Yes. This is the Shavasana wrap. Lululemon size four method Shavasana wrap jacket, navy blue snaps, yoga activewear gym. I just keyword pack the end of that title there. And um, any kind of Lululemon outerwear like this, we will pick up all the time. You can notice it on the snaps and you can notice if they have a little logo like that i notice it by feel almost every single time if once you've felt enough of these go into the lululemon store and just like feel it up okay it's not awkward at all no perfectly normal. but then you'll know your fingers get this like spidey sense and then when you're feeling it on the racks because lululemon is hard to spot and there's some good dupes out there now I get I get uh, tricked all the time. This kind of material holds on to any kind of fuzz, doesn't it? It sure does. It's really stretchy. This particular wrap does pretty well. It's a jacket, but it's called a wrap. It's not like the wrap. The <laughs> There was one time, and Dan trying to figure out how to get that on the mannequin was the best thing I've ever seen on the dress form, because it's just a big rectangle, and you're like, hmm? you're like, and it's got like two snaps, so you're like, how does it? <laughs> we finally found the stock photo, and he was able to replicate it, but it was crazy town. Uh huh. Okay, that sold for. I guess I should tell you. $28. So, yeah, we got 99 cents. So this was a Finn's wrap. Finn's wrap. Finn's Lulu. 
Uh, we don't pay up for Ben, uh, for Lulu anymore at all, ever. I guess I would if I ever found a lion leggings, but I never will. Never have, at least. Maybe I will. Never say never, Amy! Alright, this is the sale I'm most super excited about. Really? Padded flat rate and blue. Not because of the money, but because it's going home. Hmm. This is... Uh, I, it's a vintage item, and I have trouble selling vintage items because I have trouble listing them. But this one, I just finally did it. Just listed what I thought it was. I always, I'm like, I can't find exactly what it is. It's vintage. You don't find that. Mm. You've got air in here. That's why people, I gotta, yeah. gotta let some air up. There we go. Yeah, we still got a pack. This is a, this is, we're in crazy sitch right now. All right. This is y'all stop it right now vintage hawaiian maxi skirt size extra extra small long cover-up polyester full side slit side zip this is going back to hawaii oh, yes i love that i'm just so excited it is sold for 18 dollars the issue with this is a gorgeous skirt it does have an issue in that it is super small like it would fit me in the waist, but not in the length. It was too long for me. So you have to wait for the right buyer. I am so stoked that this is going back to Hawaii. This, I mean, it is, look at it in it's person. Amazing. Hold on, you gotta see the, the colors in person. <laughs> it is so cool. Be careful with this pen. This thing is great, okay so pretty yes all right so we saved that and now it's going home where it belongs okay after this we sold a three-part bundle three pairs of chico's pants and they are all in jewel tones take from that what you will they're all the same size and the same model and they're all new with tags so that's why I wanted to put that out there. I also wanted to put that out there that I went live and changed all of our listings back to uh, offers accepted. What do you call it? Best offer? Yep. And the person messaged me and said, would you take a best offer if I got three of these? I said, yeah, just send an offer. She wrote back. She couldn't. <laughs> Can't send offers. There's not offers on two of the pants. I'm like, oh, for goodness sakes. So luckily she worked with me and we figured it out. I just sent her an offer for, she sent me an offer for minus, anyway, whatever. We worked it out on the one pair of pants that she could send an offer on. Yes. So now I have to go back and do that to make, I don't know why offer wasn't, I literally did it on everything. I did it live. Anyway, here are all the pants and they are jewel toned. Put them in there so they can see, like a peacock. That's like a jewel tone. So one of them is purple. The other two are teal and deep green. They are the, Chico's women's size 0.5 regular US 6 jegging pants denim stretch mystique purple aurora green and I don't know. Uh they're it's exactly denim exactly like a peacock. And a peacock, yes. They're all new as tags. And she offered 25 each. And I, I said that's fair. Let's do that. And so we got $75 for each of these and we paid three dollars each. So it's pretty good. I'm not sure what the promotion situation is on these, but they're all the same size. That's why we like to have a lot of Chico's because then people can bundle. It happened today on Poshmark and on eBay and on Mahari. Bundles everywhere. Bundle ruse. The Juliet is definitely our best selling uh, Chico's pant model. I didn't show you the things, but that's okay. You get you get the point, right? Oh, it's going to Georgia too. Cool. Georgia expedited. Yeah. Love that. We're gonna refund. I this was in the uh, the agreement that we were gonna refund any extra shipping. Okay. 
And we're happy to do that when people do bundles. They shouldn't have to pay extra shipping. We do not refund shipping on one item. We just don't do that because they know what they're getting, blah, 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 right? There's no incentive. And normally our, we're out of pocket anyway, to be honest. Yeah. But in this case, uh, she will have overpaid for shipping and happy to refund it. Absolutely. Okay. Finally. You guys know what it is, right? You can make guesses. Place your bets. It is a Chico's purple top. What? Purple what? top Chico's. No way. No How way. in the world? Who would have guessed it? You know, I am shocked that so much purple stuff sold. Never in my life have no. I seen this much of one color sell randomly on a weekend. Was there a TikTok I don't know about? Probably. Is there, is it the Vikings? Who's purple doing well? There's always a reason. You don't just randomly start buying purple stuff. Right. List your purple stuff, people. I don't know. Anyway, this Chico's top sold for 15 bucks. All right, we're ready to put on some labels. Woo! It's going to get to the post office just in the nick of time. Yeah, we'll see about that. No, you can go to the other one. You'll be fine. Yeah. We started going to a new post office because our post lady's mean. She doesn't like it. And the other, other post office is like the same distance and they're open an extra half an hour. Yes. And they're not mean. True, not mean. Yet. <laughs> right. They haven't gotten to know me yet. <laughs> All right. Can you help me out here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Flat rate envelope. I'm on the second. Yep. Okay. Ground 16. Yep. Okay. Five. Five. Escada is eight. Eight. Starbucks, 11. 11. Chico is 11. Okay. Chico, six. Ted Baker, flat rate envelope. Okay. Double D Ranch, flat rate envelope. Yep. Sundance, flat rate envelope. Okay. Zania, priority. Yep. Uh, 2 1. 2 1. 11 3 13. Let's look at that. Thanks. Uh, okay. Um, flat rate envelope is next. Spam risk. Decline. Um, After the Xenia. Yep. Okay. Chico's flat rate on both. Yep. Chico's padded flat rate. After that. Flat rate. Padded. Okay. Then the Chico's wrap blouse, six ounces. Yep. The Chico's teal, six ounces. Yep. Lululemon padded flat rate. Okay. Hawaiian, 15 ounces. Um, and then the bundle rue is 215. 15. And it's 11 by 15. Okay. And nine ounces. Alrighty. Come on, come on. Taking a little bit of extra time today. Okay. There it goes. All right, let's get these labels started and I'll generate my scan form while those are going. Uh oh. Oh, man. That was weird. 
was thinking. Okay, let's get these started. Okay. First one up, 6516. Got it. Oh, do you need a separate yeah? That'd be great, yes. I One zero seven four two. One zero one five eight. One zero two zero seven. Starbucks shirt. Starbs. Seven four nine eight. Zero five four six four three six six zero three one five two one one. Two four six three. Nine 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 six. Niner. One one zero four zero. You're brand new listening. All these one ones are brand new. Yeah. If you hear that number. One zero nine two three. So that's pretty brand new. One zero nine. One one zero zero nine. See, Yahtzee. <laughs> nine one zero nine. Five five seven eight. Who's up playing bingo? Because we just never win anything. I know. Dang it. Pants bundle. Are you sure you made a little? Okay. Are you trusting the postal office that he said? How do you? 9027. I don't. <laughs> as soon as I can, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to go run all this stuff to the post office, and then we'll be back and check on the profit numbers. Yeah. Yes. Picnic. You're being very, very demanding right now. You waiting on your treats? Hmm? What about you? Huh? <laughs> what? There's treats? I heard somebody say treats. You're a good boy, Jeremy. All right, say bye. He's out of here. Hey, everybody. We're back. We're back. Man. Okay. Okay. Uh, two things of note. Two One things. of them is that uh, Vendu did let us double sell something. So we still recommend, even though they have auto D-list, remember it's still in beta. Yep. So we're going to report it. Also, remember that you should do your bookkeeping every single day. <laughs> if you're cross-listing, yeah, you that's... Mm -hmm. that's a must yeah and we wouldn't have caught it otherwise uh, and third thing Poshmark doesn't care if you cancel it's not great business we try not to do it yeah but I'm just being honest they don't like yeah there's <laughs> all right I'm gonna give you the profit numbers while Dan pull, pulls that up I want to tell you what we made on each thing because I think it's really important especially when we have a lot of things whoa J crew gold dress 1126 profit Chico's traveler sh pants short 1083. Oh, I'm blowing my hair. Uh -oh. Escada Gold Star shirt, seventeen twenty three profit. Made by Anthropology, the Chartreuse, nine seventy five profit. Okay. Starbucks shirt, nine eleven profit. Chico's Bubble Hem shirt, nine eighty six profit. Chico's Embellished Tea, fifteen twenty one profit. Better. Ted Baker, thirteen eighty six profit. Okay. Double D Ranch skirt, nine ninety seven profit. 
Sundance Jacket, 418 profit. Zane, yes, yeah, Sport Coat, 1583 profit. Uh, Chico's, oh, the jacket, the yeah. zip up jacket, 1409 profit. The Chico's cardigan set, 2408 profit. Chico's flowy blouse, 2107 profit. That was the 4X. I'm just letting you know. Yep. Chico's blue tank, the new tag, 1729 profit. Almost a 20. Uh, Lululemon wrap cardigan was 2203 profit. All right. The vintage skirt was 601 profit. The Chico's green jeans, 1261. All of those pants we made, 1261 on those three pairs of pants each. Chico's fitted shirt purple. Oh, the button down. 771 profit. The blue and gold blazer, 2405 profit. That's better. The knit cardigan, 2372 profit. The Chico's black blouse, 1705 profit. The J. Joe cardigan, 2486 profit. Those were our Mercari sales yes, right Mercari there. Yes, Mercari bundle, yep. And it was higher than normal. Uh, the coral tank top from Poshmark, 1098. Okay. The Eileen Fisher pull-on pants, 1260. The St. John Jogger set, $73.59 profit. Boom. The Ralph Lauren Purple Label Dress Jacket set, $156.55 profit. <laughs> Chico's Ultimate Fit Pants, $4.99 profit. I don't know. It says we paid $6.59 for those. I don't know. The Urban Outfitters Jeans that I thrifted, $20.41 profit. The So Slimming Black Jeans Crop, $12.98 profit. The Adidas set, $18.98 profit. The Talbot's Heritage Pants, $11.28 profit. J. Joe Black Ponty Knit Pull On Pants, $12.99 profit. Kate Spade Dress, $6.04 profit. And the Chico's Purple Cardigan, $20.59 profit. Come on. The reason I wanted to say it, though, is so it's you can a- see, we're normally picking up a $10 bill off the ground. Uh, I want to say a couple of things before I show you the profit. Okay. A lot of these things were not promoted. Nice. Normally that happens with one or two things. One of them is a viewer sale, and I don't think that that was the case this time. Okay. The other time is when it's newly listed and we haven't promoted it. The question I have is when eBay relists, does it get promoted? Uh, oh, mm. Does anyone know the answer to this? I mean, I could try to find out. but That's I just, a great question. I would assume no. When eBay refreshes your listing after 30 days? Like because even like if you had it promoted. Mm. most of the things we sold i don't have an exact number but most of them are new listings or have recently relisted okay via ebay right right and i think that's why we didn't pay promotions you i think you're onto something because we don't promote new stuff right there's a checkbox where you can add stuff or you don't add stuff we don't add we don't, stuff. we don't add stuff until we redo our promotions ourselves yep interesting I'm very just interesting i'm just saying all right, come on, thousand dollars profit. Come on, thousand dollars profit. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You, where did that thousand come from? I don't know. All right. Weekend. Well, we wanted three hundred dollars a day for the weekend. That's nine hundred. So well, I'm just going to round it up. So, yeah. But the weekend should only be six hundred. Well, because we did Friday, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. We're not that far. We're not. We're okay. It's, so we made one hundred twenty-eight dollars dollars today, but we have sold three things. Since yeah. we filmed the video. Well, all right. I feel so, a little better. Yeah. Things are looking up on the upswing. 37 items went out today. I'm just going to keep on keeping on. We do have a huge draft bank in... Actually, show me the draft bank. We have a huge draft Look bank. Look at this. Cheetos way out in, <laughs> <laughs> way out in front. Nobody's Nobody's catching the Chicos. Uh, what do you want me to show them? Draft bank? Yeah, we got a big old draft bank because they take photos and I list 20 a day. So this should keep us going through yeah, 488 drafts. Is that right? Uh, there's some, no, it's probably about mm, 300. Okay. There's some stuff at the bottom. That's like stuff I delisted and it goes into drafts. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, yeah, but we got some, we some got, stuff yeah. ready, to, ready to go. Sweet. So we should have enough to list while we are gone. We'll yes. miss you guys a lot. It's always tough to live. It is. It is. But that's what I love about Vendu, because I can list from my phone, yes. and I don't have to bring my laptop. Perfect. On Spirit Air. Thank you. Got to get that one bag that fits right under the seat. We got it. We, we got be. it. <laughs> oh, we should definitely make that video. Yeah, we need... Oh, good idea. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. How are out. we so color-coordinated today? I don't know, but it's working, right? <laughs> we appreciate it, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.